I've been trying to think of a way to, to tell him. It would be a lot easier if I weren't married to the editor. Oh, I'm sure you're going to work this out. Yeah, well, if I sell Landfair, we'll all come and live with you. Heron, too. <laughs> sure. Actually, there may be an apartment available in my building soon. It's, it's Marco's, but I don't think he's going to get back from San Carlos in one piece. San Carlos? I take it you haven't spoken to Clint at all tonight? No. Well, <clears throat> you remember how Marco volunteered to go down to San Carlos and snoop around about Cristofori? Yes, but we were so adamant about his not going that he agreed. Well, he lied to us all. It's the same old story, Vicky. He just gets bored with this sweet little life he has. I'm sure he was thrilled for a chance to put his life in danger again. What are you going to do when he gets home? Probably throw my arms around him and be very grateful he got back in one piece. Then I will probably kill him myself. <laughs> You'd think I'd be used to this by now. You have bigger problems than I do. No. Just different ones, that's all. I can't put this off any longer. I've got to go home and tell him. I'm sure the two of you will have this solved by midnight. Mm. Don't hold your breath. Okay, come on. I'll walk you out. Here's your tea. Thank you, sweetheart. I was surprised to see that you changed brands. <laughs> well, you think I'm some kind of old fogey or something that I never change anything anymore? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, did you think over what I said? Oh, uh, sort of. Uh, yes, uh, I guess it did play a part my decision. Now, that was very hard to get out, wasn't it? A bit. We reminisced a lot. He uh, wasn't as guarded as he usually is. He, normally, he doesn't like to talk about the past. Mama, I went to wildlife the other night, and I sat up at the bar for hours, trying to get a feel of the place, trying to like the place and like what Alec does there. Obviously. It didn't work. Then Ed came in and I could have died. And I found myself defending Alec and the place and our relationship, lying about all of it. Lying about it. Oh, I'm sure he saw through it. Yeah, sure, sure. I suppose it was my, my pride that dear man that I respect so much and that I hurt so badly, I, I just didn't want him to see how unhappy I was. Oh, sweetheart, you don't have to create illusions for Ed. You know, sometimes when I see him, I, I can't figure out, I can't quite figure out why I ever let him go. Yeah, I couldn't figure that one out myself. Excuses me of trying to mother him now. Uh, you know, maybe he's right, but he makes it happen. Even when you first got together? Oh, no. Uh, it was very passionate and also a lot of fun. But it's the tough times that, you know, test a relationship. I can deal with his physical injuries. I can deal with his loss of self-confidence. I could help him, I want to, I could if he would let me, but he won't, and he turns away. I feel as if, I feel as if he has chosen wildlife and that whole scene there over me. Oh, Clara, Clara. I, I know it's not that simple, but anyway, 
He's not the man that I fell in love with in New Orleans. So, I guess it all adds up to that I just have a permanent border. Uh, I don't see myself going back. It's very sad, but I guess it's over. One Life to Live will continue in a moment. All right, let's have it. Why will the general give you a medal? I am Enrique Guerrero's son. You have got a lot of guts, boy. Trying to pass yourself up as Guerrero's boy. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, really? Who was that kid that Vicky and Dan Wallach talked to when they interviewed his widow? That's Michael. He's my half-brother. My mother intentionally did that. She wanted people to think that he was me. She was trying to protect me. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Because I didn't know you very well, and I wasn't sure if I could trust you. Oh, shoot. That's rich. That's rich. You're worried about me, a kid card shark who tells me he hardly ever plays poker. Look, the only reason that I am in Landview is because of you, Asa. Why the hell am I supposed to believe this? Because of that medal I gave you. That was struck the day I was born. It's got my name on it, and engraved below that is my birthday. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It does not say Simon Guerrero. Just your first name. You see, boy, I got one of those. They all have the full name. You might have stolen it. And who the hell knows if your name is Simon? Well, you can talk to my mother. I mean, she could tell you. She'll tell you who I am and, the, and that I was in San Carlos for two years fighting. And, uh, Enrique, uh... Must have been overjoyed to see you, boy. Yeah. Probably the most moving moment of my life. We, we, we cried and laughed and cried. I'm surprised at one thing, Simon. That your mother didn't poison your mind against your daddy. She did. She did, but I developed my own opinion as I got older. See, something else surprises me too, Simon. Why Enrique would let his only son jeopardize his life by going to combat fighting. Well, then you didn't know my father very well. You see, my father was a soldier through and through. A man was not a man to him unless he had been in battle. I was his son and he loved me, but he couldn't respect me until I fought. That's a good answer, boy. I wanted to make sure you know what your daddy was all about. Or, uh, is there any more of these little questions? Have I passed the test? Or are we gonna keep wasting time? Let's get to why you decided to tell me who you were. Because of the quarter of a billion dollars. You're Enrique's kid, all right. Where's the stairs? How should I know? Oh, come on, Simon. If this is all true, you're the only one he would confide in. He confided in me that it was going to go to Landview. He said if anything happened to him, that you would get it. And that you would split it with me. I know that money got out of San Carlos before he died. You don't know how. You see, Simon, I kind of smell a rat again. Now, why didn't he make arrangements for you to pick it up somewhere? And why the hell am I involved in this? He worried about me being in danger. He thought you could launder the money very easily, and when you got it, you could split it with me. He didn't say that in the note. What note? A note I got a few months ago, a part of a note. Didn't make much sense, but I figure the other half's floating around somewhere. Uh, see, then, uh, again, that seems like my father. I mean, two messages, two separate messengers, so no one could deceive him. You telling me you don't have the other half? I wish I did. It was mighty strange, boy. Not to give it to his own son. Well, Asa, why don't you tell me what's in your half? That way we could uh, piece together and see what's missing. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> 